To operate the camera wirelessly and see a live preview, you need the Content Browser mobile app from Sony, CBM for short. Open the app and there's nothing to see so far. Go into your camera's menu, scroll down to Network and first click Setup for mobile app. Then press Setup and OK to confirm. This can take some time. Once it's done, you'll see a screen with a QR code and a password. You need this later. Scroll down to Modem to confirm that the setting is on and camera remote control is enabled. Next, go to Wireless LAN and change the setting to Access Point Mode. Once it's done, go back to your mobile device. Go to your network settings where your camera should show up. Click to connect. And in the camera's menu, go to AP Mode Settings. Click on Camera, SSID and Password. And a little window will pop up with a password. This is the Wi-Fi password. Once you're connected to the camera's Wi-Fi, you can open the app again. Press Refresh and your camera should show up. Click on it. And in the camera's menu, go to Setup for Mobile App again. Hit Setup and you should see the window with the username and password again. The username is usually admin. Type in the password and click OK. You can also scan the QR code. Once it's connected, you can click on Monitoring. Here you can get full control over the camera's settings and see a live preview as well. Here you can change all the important settings such as iris, shutter speed, white balance and ND. Interestingly enough, you can also try to pull focus, although I find it really unintuitive and laggy. Press the I in the upper left corner to see your clip names and recording formats. And in the upper right corner, you can find a few different modes. For example, the Camera Control 2 mode. This gives you advanced settings and control. You can also customize that bar, for example, to show meter instead of feet, or you can change the functionality or add new ones. And you can basically change all the other settings from mode 1 here as well.